ready and we're gonna have some fun. Once you start your video smarts, you're sure to learn a ton. Learn some names and play some games. Travel here and there. Learn our visit and you'll be best friends with the teaching teddy bear. Hello boys and girls and welcome to a fun new way to learn. Video smarts. I am a special part of Video Smarts because I'm the Video Smarts teacher and I'm here to help you learn. You'll also have a special friend along who wants to learn just as much as you do. His good friends call him Teachin' Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Hi there. I sure am excited about using my Video Smarts with you and all my new friends. I hope you don't mind the mess in my playroom, but this is my favorite room and maybe we can use some of these things to help us learn. And to help you and Teddy learn, we'll use our Video Smarts computer. Let's first make sure our computer is turned on. This switch should be in this position to turn it on. Make yours look like this. You'll be asked questions, and you may answer by pushing one of the buttons on your computer. Now watch your TV. When questions are asked, you will find the right answer in one of these spaces. If the right answer is in this space, you'll push this button on your computer. When you hear that sound, you should push the button to give your answer. You will have a small amount of time to answer. If you do not answer in time, you'll hear this sound. Let's try it now. This is your first question. Which space is Teach and Teddy standing in? I am in this space. Find Teach and Teddy again. I'm in this space. This is easy and fun. Yes, it sure is fun, Teddy. Now let's move on to learn about numbers. We'll have a special guest, and his name is Professor Set. Hi, Professor Set. Hello, Teddy, and boys and girls. It is fun to be able to share knowledge with young people. Uh, so let's get to it. It's time to study with Teach and Teddy. Get ready, girls and boys. You're gonna learn a lesson I know you will enjoy. You'll learn about sets and numbers, and then you'll have some fun. <laughs> when you and Teddy learn about the number one. We begin to learn about numbers and counting by first understanding a new word. Set. <laughs> Set is simply a word for a group of objects. So, if I see a group of books, I should say that it is a set of books. Or a group of blocks is a set of blocks. That's right. And a set can have any number of things. Different numbers of blocks can make up different sets of blocks. We've learned something important, you bet. A group of objects is always a set. No matter how many, no matter how few. If there's one or more, it's a set. That's true. To find out how many you have in a set. Just count them up and there's nothing to sweat. The number of things we count in a set tells us how many. You bet. A group of objects is always a set. This is something to never forget. A group of objects is always a set. This is something to never forget. This is a set of blocks. This is a set of blocks. This block is also a set. I think I know about sets. Can we answer some questions about sets? Sure. Boys and girls, find the set of dogs. This is the set of dogs. So any group of objects is called a set. Right. Whether the objects are dogs or apples or kites. Find the set of cars. This is the set of cars. <laughs> and to find out how many cars there are in the set, we count by using numbers. I see. We use numbers to count and to say how many things are in a set. Right. And something very special about numbers, Teddy, is that each number has a numeral. 
A numeral is a special way to write a number. So, a number is used to count and to say how many, and a numeral is used as a way to show that number. Who am I? What's my name? No other numeral looks the same. I'm special. I'm fun. My friends call me numeral one. Now you know me, we are pals. And when you see me, guys and gals, I will always look the same. And you know one's my name. <laughs> Here is a new friend, numeral one. And as we go on, we will meet the other numerals. When an object is all alone in its set, we say there is one. And we write the numeral one. Let's see. This apple is all alone in its set. So we say it is one apple. And this is the numeral one. Correct. I am a set of one car. I am a set of one banana. And I am a set of one bike. Can we play an answer game with sets of one and the numeral one? Yes, Teddy. Find the set of one fire engine. This is the set of one fire engine. It is all alone in its set. Find the set of one doll. I am a set of one doll. I am all alone in my set. I am one doll, and this is the numeral one. Hmm, that was pretty cute. Anyway, next we learn about sets of two and the numeral two. Who am I? What's my name? No other numeral looks the same. I am special, just like you. My friends call me numeral two. These oranges are a set of two oranges. The number two is used when a set has one more than one. This is a set of one. And this is a set of two. One, two. One is all alone, two has a friend. Can we find sets of two now? Pick out the set of two crayons. This is the set of two crayons. Or, we can say, we see two crayons. Two crayons, two apples, two walruses, two friends, and the numeral two. And, if another friend comes along, we say there are three. And we write the numeral three. I'm special, what's my name? No other numeral looks the same. I'm special, look at me, my friends call me numeral three. One, two, three. Three friends, three walruses, three apples, three crayons, and the numeral three. Can you pick out the set of three rabbits? We are the set of three rabbits. Golly! One, two, three. What's the next number, Professor Set? The next number is four. And it's numeral four. I am special. What's my name? No other numeral looks the same. I am special. And what's four? My friends call me numeral four. One, two, three, four. Four friends. Four apples. Four walruses. Four crayons. Find the set of four cups. This is the set of four cups. So, if your mother asks you to put four cups on the table, won't you feel proud that you know how many cups she means? <laughs> That's one reason numbers are so important. And our last number for now is the number five and the numeral five. I'm special. What's my name? No other numeral looks the same. I am special. I am alive. My friends call me numeral five. One, two, three, four, five. You know a set of five. Look at your hand and count how many fingers you 
have one, two, three, four, five. That's a good set to remember. Each hand has a set of five fingers. And here are more sets of five. A set of five kittens, a set of five forks, a set of five turtles, <laughs> and a set of five flowers. Five flowers? Say, each of these flowers is a different color. Precisely, Teddy. And sets can be made up of different things. For example, this set of five flowers. Or this set of five animals. So, a set is any group, either all the same or all different. And we count one, two, three, four, five to tell how many are in this set. Right. Let's find the set of five in our next question. Which block has a set of five monkeys? This is a set of five monkeys. Get ready to count with Teddy. The time has arrived for you to count the numbers. One through five. After you count the numbers, you'll want to shout it out. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I know how to count. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I know how to count. Is there more to learn about numbers? Many things, Teddy. More numbers and more numerals. But first, let's hear about how we use numbers. Little boys fishing in the sun. How many boys? Just one. Pretty little girl, his eyes are blue. How many eyes? One, two. How many red birds sitting in the tree? Let's count them up. One, two, three. Ooh, how many pussycats playing on the floor? Not one, not two, not three, four. Numbers, numbers everywhere. They even tell the size of our ooh, underwear. Five alligators going for drive. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, numbers, numbers everywhere. I love you, baby. I dig you, man, yeah. Thank you so much for all your help, Professor said. Teddy, now that you and your friends know about numbers and numerals, we will go on to learn how to compare. Compare? Compare? Let me show you what compare means. Here are two school buses. Everyone look very carefully and tell me what you see. I see two school buses. One is red and one is yellow. Very good, Teddy. What you just did was to compare two things. Uh, I did? It simply means to look closely at things and tell how they are alike and how they are not alike. Hey, that sounds easy. Well, it takes some practice, Teddy. And there are words to help us to compare. The most important comparing words are same and different. I've heard those words before. Oh, sure you have, Teddy. And you may know that same means alike and different means not alike. Look at these school buses again. Wow! That red school bus just changed to a yellow school bus. The school buses are now alike, or we can say they are the same. If we bring the red bus back, the colors of the buses are not alike, so we say the buses are different. Can my friends and I try picking out things that are the same and things that are different? Which set has balls that are all the same? These balls are the same. The same shape, the same color, the same size. Which set has toys that are different? I am a red ball. I am a blue bolt. And I am a yellow block. <laughs> all different toys, all different colors. Are there other ways of comparing? Absolutely. Young ladies and gentlemen, there are many ways to compare. Miss Match, you're just in time to help us understand the different ways we can compare. Study, study, study with your friend Teddy, the teaching Teddy Bear. What makes things different when they seem the same? How many, how big? Compare. Comparing things is a brand new game that you and I will share. Let us learn to play the comparing game. How many, how big? Compare. <laughs>
<laughs> good day, Professor Set. Yes, it's been a very good day. We just learned about numbers. Professor Set, how can you help Ms. Madge and me with comparing? You need at least two things to compare, Teddy. And some comparing words come in sets of two. My specialty is numbers and counting, so I can help you compare with words like more or less, and some or none. I remember. We said two is one more than one. More is used to tell which of the sets to be compared has the highest number of things. Let me see. This set has two butterflies, and this set has one butterfly. This set has more. Exactly, Teddy. <laughs> and the other way to compare these sets is to say that this set has less. <laughs> oh, I say, Professor Set, let's do my favorite song to show Teddy and his friends some examples. I have more than you, I guess. Take a look with me. I have more. You have less. You have less. You see. You have more than I, I guess. Count them up and see. One, two, three, four. You've got more. I have only three. Oh, I have more than you, I guess. Pour them up and see. I have more. You have less. You have less. You see. You have more than I, I guess. Stack them up and see. You have more. I have less. You have more, you see. I have more than you, I guess. Stretch them out and see. I have more, you have less. You have less, you see. Can we try to find sets with more or less? Very well, boys and girls. Which set has more than the others? This set has more grapes than all the others. Can we try another question? Certainly. Find the set with less than the others. This set has less marbles than the others. It has a smaller number of marbles. Are there other ways to compare? Sure. We can say we have some pigs to describe this set. And we can say we have none to describe this set. Hey, there are no pigs in that last set. Yeah, that's right. None is the comparing word we use for an empty set. When a set is empty or has none, we have a special numeral to use. Zero. Who am I? What's my name? No other numeral looks the same. I am special. I'm a hero. My friends call me numeral zero. Oh, <laughs> let's play a game with these new words. Look at these sets. Find the set with some <clears throat> pigs. This set has some pigs. Find the empty set or the set that has none. This set has none. Some is always more than none. None is always less than some. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. Even if the sum is one. One's not much, but it's more than none. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. None means nothing's there but air. Nothing's there for us to share. Nothing to smell. Nothing to touch. Oh, none means nothing. And that's not much. Some is always more than none. None is always less than some. Some is always more. None is always less. Keep that in mind and you'll pass the test. Some is always more. We sure have learned some new ways of comparing. What's next? Well, Teddy, we can also compare by size when we use size comparison words like big or little or short or tall because we use our eyes to compare. Watch closely while I show you some size comparison words. If you want to be wise, you must learn about size to recognize large and small. 
pig, big or little, and the monkey in the middle oh, to say he's short or tall. Size is where it's at when you talk about thin or fat. If you learn to use your eyes, you will learn to tell the size. If you want to be wise, you must learn about size. Is this bumblebee large or small? And the farmer with the fiddle, would you say he's big or little? This giraffe, short or tall? Size is where it's at when you talk about thin or fat. If you learn to use your eyes, you will learn to tell the size. If you learn to use your eyes, you will learn to tell the size. There is a lot to learn about size, so pay attention. Can we start with big and little? Yes. Big and little are words used to compare sizes, as with these two dogs. This dog is little. Wow! This dog is big! Now, children, which is the big truck? This is the big truck. Which is the little boat? This is the little boat. Very good, Teddy. There are two other comparing words that mean the same as big and little. Large means the same as big, and small means the same as little. Oh, when we say something is big, we can also say it is large. And when we say something is little, we can also say it is small. Miss Match, I'll bet the boys and girls could handle some questions about size. Which monkey is the small monkey? And I suppose some would say your friend there is a large monkey. No, here is another set of comparing words. Short and tall, as in a short tree and a tall tree. Let's see if our friends can answer these questions about short and tall. Which of these is the tall giraffe? I, uh, uh, I'm the tall giraffe. Find the short tree. This is the short tree. The next set of comparing words is thin and fat. This is a thin clown, and this is a fat clown. Now, children, which is the thin cat? This is the thin cat. Which is the fat cat? I am the fat cat. <laughs> Isn't this great, kids? We sure have learned some terrific comparison words and numbers. Now let's see what we remember. Here are some questions about numbers, numerals, and comparing. Which is the set of three pumpkins and the numeral three? This is the set of three pumpkins, and I am the numeral three. Find the set of one book and the numeral one. Hey, like, this is a set of one book, and, like, I am the numeral one. Pick out the set that has more peanuts. This set has more peanuts. Which set has five lollipops and the numeral five? This is a set of five lollipops and I am the numeral five. Find the empty set. This is the empty set. Terrific! This is really fun. Can we answer more questions? Sure. Which is the big ice cream cone? This is the big ice cream cone, or we can say it is a large ice cream cone. Pick out the tall ladder. This 
ladder is the tall ladder. Find the thin clown. I am the thin clown. Boy, that was fun. I sure am looking forward to the next time we get together. But before we leave our friends, I'd like to thank Professor Set and Ms. Matt for all their help. Until next time, this is your friend, Teach and Teddy, saying goodbye for now. And I hope to see you soon so we can learn some other exciting things together. And remember... Our world is filled with such wonderful things. The more that we learn, the more our hearts sing. And who knows just what tomorrow will bring. That's why it's such fun to learn. There's always one more thing to learn. There's always one more thing to learn. And just when we think all our questions are answered, there's always one more thing to learn. Never stop Oh!